Hi guys, today I want to show you my favorite trays for barbell fishing. First of all, you need some 120 pound dacron braid, some 80 pound braid, some proper hooks. You can either use a circle hook or a J hook for this trace. I prefer using circle hooks because they give me a much better hook operation. It is very important to choose the right hooks when fishing for barbell. What you want is a hook that is extremely sharp, that has a thin gauge. This provides a better hookup in, in the mouth of a barbell. But you also want a hook that is strong, that won't bend open during the fight. You also need a number 4 power swivel and a 1 ounce sinker. What you do first is you cut a 30 centimeter piece of Dacron fold it double like this and tie it around your hook shank I use a simple figure of 8 knot for all my knots it's simple and it's strong and it's reliable just pull it tight against your hook shank Cut off the tight ends. Now you have this loop at the bottom of your hook. Next, what you want to do is you want to make a small loop like that. So just do a simple overhand knot. And pull it tight as close as possible. You want this loop at the end to be as small as possible. There you have it. Next what you want to do is you want to put cut another piece of Dacron, this time about 35 centimeters tied to your hook. Again using a figure of 8 knot. I prefer using braid, you can use mono as well, but the braid just gives your bait a lot more movement in the water and it's not as stiff as mono would be. On the other end you just tie your small power swivel and there you have it, that's your trace next you take a piece of the 80 pound braid again about 20 centimeters take your one ounce sinker and thread it through again I make a figure of 8 knot just tying the sinker to the braid pull it tight and cut the tag on off now what you do is you slip this knot back a bit and it's like that and make another figure of 8 knot on your hook shank doing it like this provides that you don't have a loose sinker dangling around when you're fighting a fish or adding resistance to your line when the fish is picking up the bait what you do is you slip this into the carp's mouth and you, you thread this through the carp's lips this will seal the sinker inside it will add a bit of, a bit of weight to your bait but it won't complicate anything or get in the way when you're fighting a fish and this is a simple trace for barbell fishing. In the next video I will show you exactly how to hook your bait. Thank you.